আসসালামু আলাইকুম স্টুডেন্ট অফ ক্লাস টেন আই এম ইউর আইসিটি টিচার খুরশিদ আলম রনি ফ্রম স্কোয়ার হাই স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজ অ্যান্ড টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্য ইউজ অফ ডেটা বেজ হুইচ ইজ ফ্রম ইউর আইসিটি বুক চ্যাপ্টার সিক্স সো লেটস গেট স্টার্ট concept of database database is called the storehouse of information it is a computer oriented process by which collected information can be stored and recollected whenever needed in other words a database is a store of collected data from where information can be collected in different ways to make important decision In simple terms, a database is an organized list of voluminous data from where a requisite data is identified and picked out easily and quickly. In this storehouse, voluminous information of different kinds can be saved. Users can collect any information from this store at any time as per their requisition. A database is also called a database management system or DBMS. as the data saved in the information storehouse is used in different kinds of management work it is called database management system classified information is stored in different files with different names so the requisite information can be found easily a database is usually formed with columns and rows Every column has a heading that indicates what type of data it contains. The headings are recognized as fields. A row is formed by some columns which are placed side by side. Each row is called a record. Every column that contains serial number, name, age, date of birth, village, union, etc. is a field. And under these fields, data such as Abul Qasem 27, 2 by 2 by 1960, Tepra, Kanaihat are listed. Several fields taken from the same row comprises a record. The database below has six fields and six records. Data have been preserved in database files in computers since the 1960s. Back then, a database was formed with a data table, but now the concept of database has developed in many respects. Nowadays, one or multiple files of data tables, query for form, report, maxo, modulo, etc. can be saved under a database. So database is one or multiple files enriched with data or information. Some essential database program are Microsoft Access, FoxPro, DBase, FoxBase, Oracle, Fourth Dimension, Paradox, etc. Characteristics of database program. Voluminous data is stored in an organized way by preparing tables in database which can be used whenever required. The accounts of industries, inventory management, annual report, production and sales accounts etc. can be stored and controlled easily. Any required information from the enormous database can be traced out easily. It is possible to prepare a report with the necessary records from the mammoth store of database. Graph, chart and picture can be inserted into the report. It is also possible to create a mailing level with the necessary records by taking them from the database. The data entry is made limited by imposing conditions in fields for avoiding mistakes while making entry in the database program. It is called input validation. Suppose that entry is begin given to a salary field of a data table where minimum salary is 2000 
and maximum is 11,500 if a condition of the input validation of greater than or equal 2000 and less than or equal 11500 is given in this field no entry will be accepted below 2000 or above taka 11500 an error message will be shown if such as entry is made A data table can be created by separating records from the database by imposing conditions in the query. A relationship can be created to exchange data between two tables on the basis of certain fields. An index is used to find out information from the database. If any index is created on a field, the value and the record reference of the field is arranged in an order. An index file can arrange the records in different ways without changing the original data file. One can easily find a topic just by seeing the content of a book. In the same way, it is possible to find information easily even from a database. It is possible to create a link among the files. So when a piece of information is saved in a linked file, it will be updated automatically in other linked files too. The record structure of data in a database can be changed if necessary. When some pieces of work need to be done repeatedly, a macro can be created collectively with this job and transforming those into a single action. It can be used repeatedly. It saves time and the users do not do the same work repeatedly. Okay student, that was all about for today. In next class, I will show you how to open access program and how to make a database table. Till then, goodbye.